Hello, and welcome to another episode of Did You Know? I'm your host, Freddie Chabin. And today we're gonna to discuss the five common questions that guys ask me about my escorts. And here we go. Number one, am I a bad person for seeing sex workers? Society tells us that there is only one type of guy who sees a sex worker. Some sort of creepy, desperate dude who can't get laid any other way. This stereotype is dead wrong. In fact, people see sex workers for lots of different reasons, many of which are understandable. Stress relief, getting over a breakup, learning new skills, or just getting laid without having to wrangle a date on Tinder. And it's not just guys. People of all genders, and couples too, see sex workers to get their needs met. If you think seeing escorts make you a bad person, you are in good company. And perhaps it's time to let go of your worries before they interfere with your enjoyment. Yeah, I used to have to explain to my clients, look, you're not doing anything bad. You're not doing anything wrong. Look, this is the way we're wired as males. And a lot of people do it. A lot of people have desires that have not, have not been met by a significant other or whatever. I don't promote cheating. However, if this is what you want to do, I'm about live and let live. Okay love and let love so don't feel bad about it do what makes you feel good and make you feel happy number two will seeing an escort feel weird and awkward sex can be scary sex can be awkward too we're afraid of being unsafe looking silly or being judged and just because you're paying does not necessarily mean that all those fears magically vanish Seeing an escort can be nerve-wracking, especially for first-timers. The thing to remember is that we are intimacy professionals. It is our job to make you feel safe and appreciated. You are much more likely to feel cared for and accepted by a sex worker than by some random you've picked up on Tinder. I made sure that I designed everything around safety. Safety was always number one. And I wanted to make sure that my clients felt safe, secure, and discreet. And this is why I made sure that everything was done in that order. So the places, I hired the right escorts. I made sure that everything made the client feel very, very comfortable in our environment. And that was very important for the client, as well as for the escort. So I made sure that everybody felt safe, happy, and they enjoyed the experience. Number three, how do I ask for what I want without sounding creepy? Lots of folks, especially guys, have been told that it's creepy to directly ask for sex. So instead of going for what they want, they just hang around hoping that things will turn out. In real life, there is definitely a right way and a wrong way to go about getting laid. And walking up to random people and asking for sex time isn't a great idea. But this is where escorts differ. We're professionals. And the nice thing about booking time to see a professional is you have the chance to state plainly what you want. In fact, being honest is helpful for us. The more direct you are about your needs, the easier it is for us to give you the right experience. I recommend being honest right from the get-go. Specify what you're looking for in the very first message you send. So I always built all my businesses and my relationships with my clients and my employees, all about honesty and safety and integrity and loyalty, right? So one of the things that I always used to let the clients know is that if you need a certain service, that something specific, with a certain escort. Let me know ahead of time. There's no surprises. There's no awkwardness. There's no weird feelings about it. That's why open, honest, and direct communication was very important. And I tried my best to make sure that I had that 
with my clients and also with my escorts. So this way, I always recommend that the client let me know exactly what they're looking for. So not only do I make sure I set them up with the right escort that provided such services, but also to make sure that it's what the client really wanted, 100%. So this way, he's happy, the escort is happy, and I'm happy. Everybody's happy. And that was my goal. Number four, I feel really depressed the day after a booking. What do I do? I've talked with many escort clients who feel depressed the day after a session. Sometimes it's a sad and lonely feeling. Sometimes more just feeling tired or irritable. Often when we feel down after sex, we blame ourselves. We take it as a sign that we've done something wrong. But there's a simpler explanation and it's all about your brain chemistry. When we have an intense, enjoyable experience, like sex for example, our brains release a whole lot of happy chemicals, such as dopamine and oxytocin, into our bodies. This is the stuff that makes sex feel so enjoyable. Unfortunately, we only have a limited supply, often the day after an emotional experience. Our brain runs low on the good chemistry and we end up feeling sad or grumpy. This is a phenomenon known as drop. Drop is temporary. It only lasts a day or so as our brains get back to normal. If you're feeling terrible, it's useful to remind yourself that it's just a chemical imbalance and that it won't last. Since most of my clients were either married, engaged, had a significant other, or they were committed in a relationship at home, I used to have a few of them that would feel really, really bad. And they would talk to me, AKA Madam Suzanne with a voice changer, about how they felt, they felt guilty, they felt depressed after a session. And I used to tell them, look, for whatever reason you're coming here to ask me to hook you up with all my escorts, you must have a valid reason for it. And if it makes you feel good during the session and you get your needs fulfilled, then you're doing the right thing. Now, I cannot tell you what's right or wrong as far as you cheating on your wife or whatever you want to say. You have your own situation and they used to explain that to me and try to get me to approve or disapprove, which I never did. I just wanted to make sure that they don't feel judged. This is a judge-free zone and they do not feel like we're doing anything wrong to him or he's doing anything wrong to us, which was my main goal. So I try to make him feel at ease and make him feel that everything is okay, just be happy and we're safe here and everything is gonna be okay. Now, as far as your personal situation, I can't help you with that. That's your business, it's none of my business, what you're doing at home. But I can tell you is that a lot of people do this. So. Is it right? Is it wrong? That's a different situation. And please don't hate me, the viewer right now, for me saying this. I know some of you think that I was facilitating or making it really easy for married men to cheat. But you know what? I try to do the best I can to create a, a need. It's a supply and demand. There was a, definitely a demand. And it, just because I'm not doing it today and I'm retired, it doesn't mean that it's not been happening every single day of the week and everywhere around the world. Number five, how do I know if my sex worker is enjoying it too? How do you know if your escort is generally having a good time? It's their job to make you feel sexy. So how much of that is real and how much is performance? So I used to get this all the time, right? Uh, the clients would ask me, did so-and-so uh, like me? Did she tell you anything about the escort that they've seen the, the time, the prior time or the prior session? And I used to always tell them, look, I've chosen you to be in our domain for a reason. You are one of our B VIP clients for a reason. Obviously that we like you, we like the way you are, what you represent and the way you act. And this is why we let you into our domain. Now, all my escorts are trained, this is their job, are trained to make sure that there's excellence in customer service and they give you exactly what you're looking for, right? So open and direct communication in this case is very, very important. And I just want you to know that if there is a problem, the escort will let you know or what she will let me know and I will let you know. So you know me, I'm always open. I'm always, you know, very candid about everything that happens and very straightforward. So 
rest assured, everybody's doing their job and everybody likes you, otherwise you will not be here. And furthermore, at any moment, if there is any type of situation, then you'll feel it. You'll feel it if, if you're doing something that you're not supposed to do because the escort will let you know through her body language or whatever, right? So I used to let them know, look, just focus on having a good time. Don't worry about it. Everybody's happy, everybody's good. Remember, this is their job. And I used to give them an example. It's like, if you go get a massage, you don't really think or ask the ask the uh, the masseuse if she's enjoying herself giving you a massage. This is her job, and she's doing the best she can to make sure that you get whatever you need. So it's not reasonable to ask a masseuse, "Hey, are you enjoying it so much that you'll do it for free?" No, this is her job or his job, right? So it's the same thing. Just enjoy yourself. It's gonna be okay. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed another episode of Did You Know? I'm your host, Freddie Shabin. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay happy.